Hey guys, just getting on here again, doing another quick video on a few tips to prevent breakage that you may not have thought about, or maybe you have. But I'm just gonna go over these pretty quickly and hopefully this helps. So the first one is do not wear tight styles. So that would include um, limiting slick buns and tight braids. Um, when you do um, these styles, just because they're slick, yeah, they may last a really long time, but regular wear and tear over doing this um, for long periods of time, even over your lifetime, can start to weaken your follicles and soon you can unfortunately have to deal with uh, losing your hair. Um, could be from the edges or um, when you do wear these styles, if you have um, basically uh, wigs, like glue on wigs, um, if you wear those after a while, you can eventually get rid of your edges if you do, <clears throat> when you slip down buns really tight with gel and brushes, eventually those brushes slowly start to make your hairline go back. Um, let's see, what else? Tight braids. Uh, when you're pulling at your braids really tightly at the follicle, um, that will lead to thinning in those areas. So if you start to see redness, soreness, uh, bumps, you wanna avoid that as much as you can. If you wear ponytail clip-ins, if you put the ponytail in the same spot, eventually if you go to do a different style, you'll notice a lot of breakage in that one spot where you always wear uh, weaves or clipping ponytails where it has the, the comb attachment and um, those areas will be thin. So just keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Um, for the next one, if you're adding hair to a style, like if you're doing uh, braids or extensions, um, to prevent breakage, make sure you soak the hair in apple, uh, apple cider vinegar and water rinse. You can soak it in there for a few minutes. Um, <clears throat> what's the second one? The third one is avoid vigorous washing. When you wash your hair, um, when you wash it with shampoo, the only time you really have to do like a vigorous scrub, and I know it feels good probably to a lot of people, but um, the and the scratching at the scalp like this when you wash it, and if you wash it vigorously um, and you don't suction it, uh, when you go back to detangle it, you can probably create more hair shed than you want to because the vigorous washing could cause breakage. So to avoid that, it's best to wash your hair in sections, four sections, five sections, and you always wanna bury those sections. Um, Cause if you continue to do the same sections over and over, it's another possibility that you can start to create breakage in those sections. Um, in my opinion, the best way to wash your hair for me would be in sections and also to just let the water run down on your scalp first until your hair is fully saturated and then when you do shampoo make sure you're focusing on the scalp and then if it goes to the ends uh lightly have it go through the ends to avoid unnecessary breakage Okay, step 
four, option four. Avoid um, rubber bands. So this would be <clears throat> um, actual rubber bands. There's hair rubber bands too. If you do have to use them, a good tip is to create slip on those rubber bands and to use um, a dropper or um, just rub rub the rubber bands basically with oil with a dropper or just um you know use some oil and rub it just basically if if you have to use them and you don't want to make them like super tight number one and number two um basically uh, the less tension the more likely you are to prevent any breakage um so for number five Avoid using fine tooth combs to detangle. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna rip so much hair out if you are using a fine tooth comb to detangle your hair and also if you're doing it dry. Uh, it doesn't have to be wet, it doesn't have to be sopping wet, but as long as you're able to mist your hair and you have some type of product to create some slippage, if you're detangling uh, braids or taking out a style, um, if you do use a fine tooth comb, please make sure there's product on it and you're only using it to separate the hair on the very, the very end. Otherwise, um, you know, you risk, uh, fraying your ends and creating, uh, more damage at the very ends. Um... I don't know what number I'm at. I think I'm at number six. Uh, limit the amount of hair clips, hair pins, and bobby pins. So I'll just give you an example here. So any bobby pins that you have that are old and you no longer have the coating on them, and also two they don't have the cushioning so i'll just show you one i don't know if you can see that but it's silver it's supposed to be black the coating of this is off um that can the the friction from the metal can create breakage in your hair especially our hair is already naturally prone to be dry so I can't find one because I think I threw all of my bobby pins away that didn't have the little um, cushioning at the end. So you see where it has like a little cushion right there. So that cushion helps for when, if you do have to use bobby pins, um, to slide it in there and to, to prevent from like snagging the hair and breaking the hair. So I would... Um, Avoid using bobby pins as much as you can. Um, number seven, avoid and limit heat styling. So this would be, you can use heat, but if you um, flat iron your hair once a month, try and do it like once every other month or once every two or three months. If you do use high heat, um, lower the heat and use a heat protector. Um, if you do a deep conditioning with a hood dryer, uh, I noticed my hair is um, doing a little bit better from avoiding sitting under the hood dryer every time I do my deep conditioning and, and I just let the natural heat. I put a plastic bag over my head in a towel and I usually just let the natural heat do its thing versus doing like a hood dryer. Um, Cause my, my crown is already prone to breakage. So that helped to um, minimize the breakage that I was having in the crown. Uh, let's see. Seven. So number eight. Um, wear hair up more. Uh, a lot of times 
for styles like this, um, especially if you wear your hair down in the winter months. If your hair is rubbing against like a scarf or a jacket, after a while, um, you won't be able to retain as much length. And then the, uh, your hair will start chipping at the ends and eventually create split ends. So you wanna, uh, you know, try updos. Like instead of wearing this down, you can wear it all up in like a bun and like a, a loose style. So, um, so that's eight. Number nine, uh, moisturize your hair daily. You know, it 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 helps to retain length as much as as much as possible. And number ten, get regular trims. So, I hope this helps. Please let me know what you think in the comments, if there's any other things that you can think of that will help to prevent breakage. So thanks for watching. Bye.